Dear Sister in Faith, I would like to begin a reflection this Sunday of Ordinary Time by inviting you to admire these beautiful images, the Virgin of Guadalupe y el Niño Jesús, resting together, reclining among green and beautiful cacti. Imagine for a moment the peace that can be felt within this scene. It is as if, after a long walk, mother and child have decided to take a necessary rest, finding comfort and repose in the mirrors of the nature. This image tells us that Jesus knows the importance of rest in the coming and goings of the life and prepare us to deliver into the reflection of the gospel on Mark and Psalm 23, which today speak to us precisely about the need to find moments and rest and spiritual renewal. In the gospel on Mark, we read, the apostles gathered around Jesus and reported to him all they had done and taught. Then, because so many people were coming and going that they didn't even have chance to eat, he said to them, Come with me. Come with me by yourselves to a quiet place and get some rest. So, they went away by themselves in a boat to a solitary place. But many who saw them leaving recognized them and ran and fought from all the towns and got there ahead of them. When Jesus landed and saw a large crowd, he had compassion on them because they were like a sheep without shepherd. So he began teaching them many things. This passage offers valuable lesson for caring for our rest and ensuring our constant spiritual renewal. First, we observe that Jesus himself recognized the need for his disciples to withdraw and rest. In our ministries, we often find ourselves given and given in the household of vassal of life, attending to the needs of the others. And after neglecting our own well-being, Jesus showed us that it's essential to find moments of quiet and rest to renew our strength. Remember, to take care for others, we must first take care for all. Ourself. And sometimes we don't have time to eat. Secondly, we see how Jesus takes care of the crowd while giving his disciples time and space to rest. When he saw the crowd, he had compassion for them because they were like a sheep without shepherd. This compassion is not just a feeling of pity but it's a concrete action. He began teaching them so many things. Jesus, with his great love for humanity and the community, makes himself present during the urgency to the crowd, allowing his disciples to rest. In our daily lives in ministry, we can trust that Jesus take care of all concerns, giving us the space to renew ourselves in his love. Resting in his love means ceasing to climb the same answers, asking ourselves the same question. As this indicates that we are resting in the pastures of our own water in our own recycled water. And that is what we share with those who come to us. But Jesus also cares for us, 
offering us the assurance of his presence as green pasture where our spirit can rest. Now, let me look at this message considering Psalm 23, which says, The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. In this beautiful psalm, full of hope, we find profound respect that strength or understanding to rest and renewal. Jesus invited his disciples to a solitary place to rest. And the psalm reminds us that God lead us to places of peace and renewal. It is essential to find this moment of tranquility in the presence of the sacred to renew our strength. Let us allow ourselves to rest in the green pastures and beside the quiet waters that God offers us in special moments in our lives. Sister, reflecting in the message of Psalm 23 with the example of Jesus in the gospel, we find a refreshing and luminous call to be compassionate shepherds and caregivers, always seeking the balance between serving others and taking care of ourselves. May Jesus, the source of quiet water, guide us, renew us, and encourage us in our daily ministry. Amen.